All right, so we about to get the we we about to get this show on the road right now. We about to get this show on the road right now. That's what wrong, but yup, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight, cause I'm on road you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lies. Give me Yo, what's going on, lockout man? Here in the truck on the thirty. What's going on, y'all? Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Y'all, first thing first, I want to give you guys some updates that's that's coming uh that's coming in the near future. Well, you guys know the end of the the end of the year is fast approaching. Hell, we already in the middle of almost in the middle of November. Hell, Thanksgiving and Black Friday is in a couple of weeks. Man, can can y'all feel it? Can y'all feel the holiday spirit in the air yet? Mad dash into a Walmart, Walmart store, knocks shoppers to the ground near Grand Rapids, Michigan at five in the morning. Despite several people falling to the ground, shoppers charged ahead, fixated on door buster deals. 13. Can you feel it? I don't know if you can, but I know I, I don't know about me, but if you guys can feel it in the air, come on with it, come on with it. All right, so couple of updates on the channel first thing first i like to say thank you to everybody everybody that subscribed to me this year everybody that rocked out with me this year everybody that hooked me up with some coffee this year i really do appreciate it yo keep the coffees coming keep the support coming and i will return the favor for you you feel me i will return the favor for you hopefully this channel will just keep growing and growing and growing and growing you know what i'm saying so we can be like one of those larger channels i guess that you know we talk about trucking and then we forget about where we came from and then just start doing other things i guess look this channel is for the new guys you know this is for you i mean i I flip-flopped this year through my channel and what I wanted to do. I did some reaction videos that I got dinged for that I'm still <laughs> that I'm still coming up out of uh coming up out of the hole on that. Now a lot of you guys like it and some of you guys different. Majority of you guys that came here to my channel initially came here for the trucking. Some of you guys came here for the hats. Some of you guys came here for the reactions. I re I appreciate all of you guys. I I appreciate everybody that came and rocked out with me. All right. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to I had to do a little do a little something something right quick. But as I was saying uh, about you guys, thank you very much for the support. If you guys want to support the channel, my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Coffee links. It's all in the description. You can support the channel by subscribing, support the channel by commenting, and just keep rocking with me into the near future, all right? So that's the first thing I want to get out the way, just to say thank you. I appreciate everything that you guys have done and continue to do. Uh, next up, um, updates on the Make the Call videos. All right, so we're coming. We're coming to the, we're coming to the end of the year next year 2020 more call videos coming that's what you guys come for you know you guys type in whatever company you want to see or type in whatever company that that you're thinking about going to hopefully one of my videos pop up and hopefully that video will help you out in your decision making process you know if it does thank you i appreciate it hook a brother up with some coffee and if it doesn't still thank you for watching i really do appreciate it um i feel that it does help in a way for companies to get them out there as well so that you can hear from the recruiter themselves when they sell their companies you know what I'm saying? Whether the recruiter want to be truthful uh, in what the company has to offer or if the recruiter just want to sell it like, uh, like a car salesman. In any case, it gets their companies out there for these drivers to see and get these opportunities for these drivers to, to make, their own, uh, make their own decisions 
whether or not they want to come and work for their company or not. So uh, I want to say thank you to the companies that who I called in the past that given me all of the information that that I need to pass on to these drivers. So thank you to each and every one of them, including the ones that was kind of that was kind of scrimmish. So thank you to them as well. <laughs> OK, uh, just to let you guys know that more calls is coming 2020 uh, call videos update number two. OK, so since it's coming to the end of the year, I already got a, a 2019 playlist of all the calls that was made in 2019 thus far. I want you guys to go there. It's lengthy. It's lengthy. It's about 20. It's about 25 companies. Uh, some of them is like 17 minutes. Sometimes some of them are an hour. You know, y'all could just, you know, just leave it running and just listen to it. You don't have to actually watch it. You know, it's, it's more of a podcast style than anything. Um, go back, watch the videos and tell me in the comments below. Hashtag. Uh, let me see. What's what's the hashtag? Hashtag call of the year. OK. Hashtag call of the year. All right. Let me know which one of those calls in 2019 that you like, that you feel that that was the call of the year. And I will go ahead and tally them all up. I will tally them all up and I will make that call that I made the finale, the, the finale video all right so let me guys let 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 me know guys hashtag call of the year let me know which ones that you think uh that you think is is worth the the vi last video to be played i got that out the way let's get into let's get into the on the 30 topics man let's what's up what's up first thing first i want to show you this video uh it might be it might be kind of hard OK, it might be kind of hard to watch or hard to listen to, because when somebody get called the N word. All right. And and they use it like in a derogatory sense. You know what I'm saying? Then a lot of us uh, people of color take that as an offensive. All right. Even though a lot of people of color uses that word. All right. How can one word be derogatory from one group and then be OK in another group? You know, that's that's the age old question. All right. We're not we as we as uh, as colored people uses that word like a term of endearment. What's up, N word? What's going on, my N word? My N word this and my N word that. You know what I'm saying? When another group use it, of course they use it more towards a derogatory way. You know what I'm saying? They put the N, they put the E R instead of the A. I I don't understand the difference either. But check out this video. Let me get let let me know what you guys feel about this video and um and and yeah we'll 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 talk about it a little bit he called me a nigga but you called me a you called me wait how you gonna finish the sentence if you call a man a I got there's no discussion about that he called me a plain and simple Okay. Plain and simple, you can't discuss nothing about that. As soon as you do that, there's no discussion. There's no sorry, there's no apologies. You understand? I fought for this country. You understand what I'm saying? If I fought, I've been to war for this country. You understand? I have my life on the line for this country. For me to be called a n because he's mad about him not getting in the spot before me. I don't know how long he was waiting. The spot was open. He, I even waited for him to see him move back. He didn't even move back. So I pulled in. So you get out. I was fucking in for like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and I was backing the fuck out. I said, hold on, don't curse at me. And I, he still going, I said, hold on, don't curse at me. He still going, I said, hold the fuck on, don't curse at me. He said, you a fucking Now saying that word out of anger, how would you, how could you not say 
that that guy's a racist. You know what I'm saying? If you get if if another group of people get mad, get mad, and then they start using that word, what do you think? You know, they, they could stand there and be like, no, I'm not racist. I got black friends. I, you know, I just said that out of the heat of the moment. But you said it. You see what I'm saying? Even wouldn't even the heat of the mo at the heat of the moment, you still said it. So how could that not be considered racist? Uh, in the discussion, don't curse at me. Don't call me a so now I'm gonna put him on the internet and I'm gonna make sure they know that he likes to call somebody. Yeah, I'm sorry, so you why would you say sorry after you already called me a man? Come because on. Like I, I told you, it was in the heat of the moment and I was wrong. And I didn't mean to call him a 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 and I I don't think that's a, a good apology. I mean, a sincere apology. You know what I'm saying? And as I said before, he said it out of anger. It, it, he just he just he just solidified the fact that he just said it out of anger. He said it out of the heat of the moment. So does that make him a racist? Moment, the word nigga come out your mouth. That means you hate black people, period. No, yes, it does. One of my best friends. Your what? best man. Do I count how many white friends I have? Do I count how many white friends I lost in battle? No, no. You didn't hear that come out my mouth. All right, so that's it for that video right there. So, what do you guys, what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think, man? I mean, let me know in the comments below on how you guys feel about about that video right there was was the um of course of course the white driver was in the wrong he shouldn't have said the word maybe he should have said something else but of course in any heat of the moments you see a lot of videos a lot of videos with white people taken out of their content or contacts i'm sorry contacts taken out of their contacts and they hurry up and throw that n word up there is is the word is good to use for both sides though i don't know i don't know yo let's get into uh let's get into this one right quick i i got this uh i got this comment that came through on uh on my uh on one of my videos on one of my on the 30 videos right quick and uh this comment comes from rolling thunder and he says i'm in a i'm in the i'm in the student training program at warner my trainer has me running nine to twelve hours a day i drive fatigue 90 percent of the time i told my trainer about it he doesn't care i don't go i didn't go to roadmasters I don't know. I feel like I'm going to kill somebody because I can't see straight half the time due to the lack of sleep. Mm, brother. Okay, man. Our lows are hot lows as well. So as soon as I wake up from my two to three hour nap, I'm back on the road. I never get, I never got to observe anything. I feel I should quit and wait until the summer. I do not feel confident about the weather, about the winter weather. What do y'all think I should do? Man, listen, okay? Number one, you need sleep. You're, you're not even supposed to be, you're not even supposed to be on the clock. You're supposed to be off the clock for 10 hours. So how are you not getting sleep? You know what I'm saying? Two to three hour nap? I don't get it. You supposed to be off the clock. You supposed to run your shift for 10 hours. Boom. I mean, for 11 hours. Boom. Get you 10 hours worth of sleep. All right. Now, is he driving while you're driving? I mean, is he sleep while you're driving? Or are you sleep while he's driving? 
That's not good. That's not good. You know, I, I'm not here to tell you what you should do. I, I'm just going to give you my, you know, my opinion. My opinion is, bro, you need to get you another. You, you need to get you another trainer, man. You need to have him take you back to Warner and be like, look, I need another trainer that's going to train me properly in this truck. Because as of right now, I'm not confident. I'm not getting I'm not getting no sleep. I'm tired. I'm fatigued. And I feel I'm going to hurt somebody if I continue up under his wing. This dude is training you wrong. Hot loads. All right. If that's the case, all he cares is about his money because he only getting paid via you driving. And two to three hours, a two or three hour power nap is not is is not enough. You need eight hours of good, relaxing sleep. Now, I understand if he's driving, that's kind of going to be difficult. But still, you got to make it happen. You got to. You got to make it happen, man. Because if you don't, if you don't, of course, you're going to hurt somebody. You're going to kill somebody. And you're going to be, you're going to end up in a ditch. You're going to end up rear ends rear ending somebody because you went to sleep behind the wheel all because of this trainer don't want to train you properly guys let them know i mean you know like i said i'm not telling them what to do i'm just giving them some advice and giving them my opinion on the situation at hand you are going to kill somebody bro all right if you don't do it you need to you you need to have him to take you back to the terminal get with get with the fleet manager or your driver coordinator and let them know that you need somebody else that's going to train you properly and i mean i i don't like snitching but in a situation like this you might want to put you know in in the notes because i'm sure they i'm sure you have like i did i have notes at the end of my training you know on how i think the trainer was let them know how the trainer let them know how you feel about the trainer man the trainer ain't trained you properly all right so that's that's i i think that's what you should do you should do that right quick all right y'all i got yo i got one i i got a crazy topic it's sort of it's sort of off topic you know what I'm saying? You know, it it may or may be truck related because we we sleep in hotels. We go to hotels. Now I don't know what you guys do in hotels. You know, your sleep or whatever the case. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You do you in a hotel, but we are in hotels and we we sort of sleep in sometimes shady hotels. Get this right here, man this this right here hotel cleaner who stole sperm from a used condom won child support battle forget about it Paul, forget about it <laughs> let me let me let me say this again so it can sink in hotel cleaner who stole sperm from a used condom won child support battle say what this lady right here <laughs> no no man no nah, man it, we we can't discard our condoms like we supposed to i mean come on man i mean when you get finished doing the deed don't just throw your stuff in 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 the garbage can don't do that Take that bad boy, dump it in the toilet, flush it, flush it, flush it. Okay, because <laughs> things like this, things like this is going to happen to you. Now, I'm a truck driver. You know, I stay in hotels. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. But still, for drivers that do stay in a hotel, and you know, they they take some extracurricular activities, make sure you throw your stuff away afterwards. 
This story right here is crazy, man. It says a 40-year-old Las Vegas hotel cleaner won a child support battle against a 28-year-old millionaire who, who she never slept with. Now, number one, this is a millionaire. So this, I'm going to assume that this is like a high, maybe a four-star, maybe a five-star hotel. For this lady to, to, to do that, who does that? Who does that? Jane was 36 when she stole the condom from a 24-year-old tech millionaire uh, from a millionaire's hotel garbage can. She inserted the, the semen inside her vagina for JJ and became pregnant with a baby boy who is now four years old. During the child support hearing, Jane confessed that she never slept with the young millionaire and that she impregnated herself with his sperm while she was cleaning his room. Uh. <laughs> he left he left, he left his bank statement on the nightstand in his room, and I saw it when I was cleaning it. At the time, I wanted, at the time, I wanted a baby so bad that I thought it would be better if I had one with a rich man. All right, so number, you you did two things wrong, bruh. Two things wrong, bruh. Number one, you don't leave your bank statements, and number two, you don't leave your your DNA. Oh my God. No! No, God, please, no, 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 no. Your sperm, your semen, whatever. You don't leave it. You don't leave none of that. All right. You take all that stuff with you. <laughs> the thing that's the thing that is so shocking is, is that number one, she never slept with this man. And number two, the man did not know that he even had a baby. So how how is he subjected to paying child support for this kid that he ain't never knew about or never met until now? How how is the courts gonna 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 let that happen? She stole this she stole the man's sperm and I still gotta be subjected to taking care of a kid that's not mine that i didn't even know the paternity tests were conducted and the young man of uh, the young millionaire is the father the court ordered him to pay the mother to pay the mother of the child two million dollars for the three years of his son's life he missed no his lawyer says the client is planning to pursue other legal actions against the mother for stealing his bodily fluids and violating his privacy. Meanwhile, check this out. Meanwhile, Jane has quit her job cleaning and started a few businesses of her for herself with her newfound fortune. She still had full custody of the child who she named after the father. How you going how you going to how you going to explain to the kid when he grows up? Hey, uh, little Jack, you was conceived in this world by false pretenses. How, mommy? How how was I was perceived? Well, I saw this rich man's bank statement and I knew that he was a millionaire and his used condom was in the trash can so i literally took it out of the trash can got some got an injection and and squirt squirt his sperm up in my vajayj and now you're here how is that going to affect the kid <laughs> how is that going to affect the kid guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this crazy ass uh topic right here man
<laughs> Yo, I, I'm a garbage kid. I, I came from a, I came from a condom, out of a garbage can. How that's gonna go over with your friends? Hey, uh, my mom and dad had made good love, and here I am. Uh, I can't say the same for me. Oh, Jack, what happened? I came from a garbage can. <laughs> Literally, dude came from a garbage can. Uh, chicks is chicks, and I know my chicks. Well, anyway, that's it, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me on my On the 30. Yo, if you guys like videos like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Yo, I really do appreciate it. Watch out for this channel as 2020 coming. Yo, you guys want to hook me up with some coffee? I will appreciate it because I am here at the Loves right now. So hook a brother up. Hook a brother up. I appreciate it. I'll come back to you with another video. Peace.